Hey guys, it's Melissa. In this video, I am going to show you how to create rolling contour cut lines in Silhouette Studio and Roland VersaWorks only. No other software program is needed. This is really a game changer, especially if you are used to using Silhouette Studio, you're comfortable there. You do not need to use any other software program to be able to do this. And the best part is it works for SVG files, uh, PNGs, and JPEGs. The only thing that you will need is business edition. Okay, so that's that one-time paid upgrade. It's about $99. Now, Here's the thing, if you're watching this and you do not have a Silhouette machine, you can still use Silhouette Studio. You do not have to have a Silhouette machine in order to use Silhouette Studio or get that $99 upgrade, which I'm gonna link to up top or up top, wherever it's gonna go uh, for you. So we're gonna hop over and I'm gonna show you how to do this for both um, SVGs and PNGs and JPEGs, which the process for those two non-vectorized um, um, images is the same, okay? All right, so let's start here in Silhouette Studio. And what we have here is just a blank page. So I've opened up Silhouette Studio, and right now I am working in the basic edition. This is not going to work. You need to make sure that you're working in business edition. Again, you need to make sure that um, at the top of your screen here, it says business. The reason for that is because of the type of export we have to do at the end of this process, okay? All right, so first things first, we're gonna open up that um, an SVG file. Okay, so I'm gonna bring my SVG directly into the workspace. I'm just gonna drag and drop. You can also go to File, um, Open. Whoops, you can also go to File, Open, or File, Merge. Um, but I just did it this way since I have, um, I, I wanted to make sure I use this specific file because um, I wanted to show you since it has uh, multiple pieces. Okay, so what we have here is our design. This is an SVG, which means it's already vectorized, so we don't have to do anything as far as tracing. What we do need to do is one step, which is going to need to be done whether you have an SVG or a PNG and JPEG. So just know if you're using an SVG, you can, uh, you'll be ready right here, and you can pick up in the next chapter where I talk about um, adding the contour cut line, okay? Now, I'm gonna open up another window, and in this panel, I'm going to open up a PNG or JPEG so that you can see how you need to prepare that, okay? So here we have, as you can see, a bunch of PNGs. I'm just gonna use this one and drag it into this work area. Now, again, this process that we're gonna trace and detach is relevant whether you have a JPEG or a PNG, okay? So first thing that I'm gonna do, I'm actually, if you have a cut line, I'm gonna turn it to transparent, all right? Because I don't like that red line. Then what we're gonna do is we are gonna open up the trace panel, which is right here. It looks like a little butterfly. And we're gonna click select trace area. And we are just gonna use our mouse to drag across the entire design. Um, and you will get some yellow. Now, what you wanna do is, and this is gonna be dependent on the design itself, but you wanna increase the threshold so that the entire design has filled in yellow, just about like this. You don't wanna go too far where it becomes blobby, but you don't want like this, because where the cut line is going to be generated is around the edges of the yellow. So you wanna make sure that you have completely filled it in, okay? And then you're gonna click trace and detach, not trace and not trace outer edge, trace and detach. It's going to, the yellow is gonna go away and it looks like nothing has happened. However, something has happened. So what, the easiest way to do this is to select the design itself and move it off of the workspace. Now, you can take your mouse and go, do you see all these little bits and that's the part that you detached. So you can take your mouse and basically select around the entire workspace. It's easier to see Actually, if you don't have the transparency so high, you'll, you, you, well, it's, it's not very easy to see even here because the bits are so small. So what you wanna do though is you wanna select all of those and then you wanna delete. So right click delete or just click delete on your keyboard, okay? All right, so now this design, this PNG or JPEG is at the same point, we have now vectorized it. So it is now at the same point as this one, which started as an SVG, okay? So now what we wanna do is we wanna select this design and we want to um, change the line weight to 0.5, okay? 
So, or 0.75 is fine too. And then you, what you wanna do is you want to change the line color to transparent, all right? So what that is going to do is it's going to put the cut line there, but not visible, and that's what we need, all right? So then what we're gonna do is we're gonna select the entire design. Again, I have using my mouse, and I'm gonna go up to File, and I'm gonna say Save Selection. Save selection is really important because we don't wanna save the whole work area, we just wanna save the selection. And then we're gonna do save to hard drive. We're gonna save this and I'm gonna put this called Camp Mama Sample. Um, and we're gonna save the file format as a PDF, portable document format. Again, this is why you need business edition, this one step right here. And we're gonna click okay. Now that is going to save to my computer. And so what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna to go to my downloads and I'm gonna show you that it's on my desktop. So what I need to do here is open up the preview. This is very important because for some reason, the way that it exports, the PDF exports from Silhouette Studio, it doesn't work exactly. So you need to just trick it and resave real quick. So here we have, this, we have the preview. See where it says preview up here? And what we're gonna do is we're gonna click File, Export as PDF. It's literally just going to resave it. So I'm gonna rename it to call it Resave, just so we know when we pull it into VersaWorks which one to, to do. All right, so I'll click Save. So now on my desktop, I'm gonna have two that uh, look the same. So if we go, whoops, where are we? If we go here, we've got two that look the same. So sample and resave and sample. However, this resave includes information that VersaWorks needs that is not included on the original export. I, I can't explain what that data is, but I just know that when you resave it, it's added here, okay? So now we're gonna hop over to VersaWorks. Now I'm on a Mac, so because I'm on a Mac, I use Google Drive to move things. So I'm gonna upload this to Google Drive, move to my PC, download from Google Drive, and then we'll be in VersaWorks. All right, so here we are in VersaWorks. So we're gonna go to File, Add Job to Queue, and we're gonna find the queue that we want to use. I'm just gonna use A, and here is our sample. Okay, so the Camp Mama sample resave, and I'm gonna click Open. This is gonna take a second and it's now in our queue. So what you wanna do is you wanna right click or two finger click with, um, if you're on a, obviously on a PC, and click Job Assistant, which is going to open up this separate panel. So this first tab over here, you, what you wanna do is you wanna click on every uh, layer. So the easiest thing to do is just right click and click Select All, okay? So now you can see everything is selected. Then go to the cutting line tab and you wanna select the type of cutting. So if you want, I like to use the star, it's pretty much exclusively what I use. We want to, a cut, all right? We want the type of cut to be the, this contour outline. Now if you want interior cuts, like if you wanted, um, if you wanted like all these little stars, you could pick that. I'm gonna actually pick the outside so that it only puts a cut line around the outside. And then I have an offset at negative 0.3 and that's actually gonna create a bleed. So you don't need to worry about creating a bleed anywhere else, which is great. And then click create. Now, what you can see is that the cut line is now generated, all right? So if there's somewhere that you don't want the cut line, you can always remove um, that as well, but we're gonna leave this here. So what this um, what this has done is created the cut line for us. Now, what I need to do is reduce the size of this window so that you can see because it's there's an OK button that you have to hit. Uh, let's see. So you're gonna click OK. And you're gonna say, yes, you wanna add the job to queue. So a separate job is gonna be added. Now, if you look, this one has no cut lines. See how there's no A there? This one has cut lines. See how that has the A? So that one's all ready to go. Now let's quickly use um, do that other job that was originally the PNG. So again, we have you are enough, uh, sample save, that was the one. And I'm gonna click open. So that was the one with the flowers. Same thing, setting job assistant. I'm gonna select it 
I'm going to go to the cut line. This one I'm going to tell I want to cut contour, create. And it's going to create the cut lines for me. Again, I need to click OK, and it will generate that second um, item in the queue. Oops, okay, yes, all right? And that is all, so you, you can see that you can go from Silhouette Studio directly to VersaWorks to create those cut lines. So if you're new to Roland or if you're looking for the least expensive or most affordable option for creating cut lines, Silhouette Studio and VersaWorks are a really, really great option. This is a little known feature, a little used feature. It's been there for a little bit, maybe about six months or so, but it's often not used. And one of the biggest questions that we get specifically from new users is what software should I use to create cut lines? There are a lot of new users coming from the Silhouette world, coming from the Cricut world, and this is a really good option, specifically because Silhouette Studio is not a subscription program. It has a very advanced tracing and vectorizing um, feature. It allows you to add offsets if you want to do it in there, although you don't have to. You can change that cut line, and then you don't have to worry about naming the cut contour um, which you can't do in Silhouette Studio. So this is a really good way to get around that. So hopefully you guys learned something. Um, again, if you're looking for other videos on how to create cut lines in Adobe or Affinity or Corel, I have videos on those as well. But again, just another option for you.